All right, so now we want to actually save these stocks so they're actually usable. So um, to do that, we're actually going to use something called a behavior subject. And um, like ArcGIS and Observables, they are definitely they take a bit to get your head around. And I, I find the best way to work with them is to actually use them. So um, basically, we're going to uh, we're gonna import Observable and behavior subject. from RxJS and we're going to say private stocks and um, convention is to put a dollar sign at the end of a stream or subject so stock of type mm, we're actually going to do a type behavior subject and because uh, we're actually not going to type these uh, but in the real application you should new behavior subject any and this is going to be this is actually going to be stocks plural this is going to be the list of stocks that we're going to append to when we get results back uh, so now we're say public read only stocks and this is actually what, what we're going to use in the other components so we're going to kind of encapsulate the stocks so they're safe um, the private version this equals uh, this dot stocks dot as observable. Um, so this will make more sense once we get a little into it. So basically, we've got a stocks, which is a behavior subject, um, which is an observable, and we're having basically an array. So the idea is when we, it's going to be an empty array. Once we get stocks back right here, we're actually going to append it to that behavior subject, and anywhere that we are pointing to the stocks, the public read-only stocks, that's going to get updated immediately. Um, so it's going to make things nice and easy. So to do that, we're going to say this.stocks.next. This is actually how we update a subject um, with or an observable um, is with the next operator. So then we're going to say this.stocks. So we're going to take the previous stocks and we're going to add in the new stock. And something we need to do that is the spread operator. So stocks.value. So basically, um, we are adding that to the array. And this actually needs to be an array. So now we've got the first version of the array. And at the end of it, we're going to add in the new one, which is going to be res.json. So basically, uh, now what we're going to do is all this is all this is doing is we're going to create a new array and we're going to take the value of stocks to begin with. So whatever's in the array, we're going to use this the spread operator. We're going to spread those out in this new array and we're going to add our new version. Uh, so basically, if we now if we come in here and we say console.log this dot stocks dot value, basically every time we create a request, it should be an array and that, so we've got our, this is actually the first one. So we've got our first array, now it's two. And now any, in our other components, we can actually subscribe to that stocks observable stream and display it to, to the screen and we won't have to worry about updating it um, or anything. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we're actually going to create the stocks content and be able to show the stocks that we're getting to the screen.